Good to see you, Jeff Garland. Hey. Are you dressed in a suit? Are yeah, you? What are yeah, you out of respect. Out of respect? Yeah. Like amazing. The, the bat that you're holding in your hand. Who's Billy Wyatt? Billy Wyatt was the character. You ever see Stealing Home, the movie Stealing Home? No. Okay. <laughs> That's who that is. Billy Wyatt is the character. Mark Harmon, who plays Billy Wyatt, you can just signed that down, bat. Joe. You can just yeah, come down. over here. Sit oh, down. Yeah. All right, let's just get um, to a quick other things real quick while Jeff's still here. Jeff right, I am right, right, so go. sorry you suited and booted and got stuck in traffic like uh, that. By the way, we live in the most wonderful place on earth except for one thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's literally yeah. the only thing. It's really bad. There's nothing else. I dare you to find something else. It's just, the you just don't know. I, I, I started in Studio City, gave myself an hour. Come on. An hour, hour from 1030 to 1130. Are you, gonna, are you not? Are you going to a deposition afterwards? Or what are you, I mean, what are you doing? I am respecting. I, mean, I respect that I you respect. But I mean, Rich Eisen. but it's okay if you're going to a bar mitzvah, you're going, going to, to a funeral. funeral. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I am. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. This afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Friend of mine's wife. I'm so sorry to hear that. Older friend. Okay. But still, well, you look wonderful. Right. I'm a handsome man. You are a handsome man. Oh, I'm remarkable. Young what? people enjoy me. What's your last <laughs> item for the news? Uh, it's sad news, actually. Mets minor leaguer Tim Tebow. We know him. We love him. Yeah. He's a good man. But go ahead. What happened with Broke Tebow? Broke a bone in his right hand, swinging the bat this weekend. Surgery Tuesday. Likely out for the season. Why is Schefter oh. reporting this? I don't know. His yeah. thick, hashtag his stick to basketball. Okay. By the <laughs> way, that would be the best thing for baseball if he got. Uh, I know up he was going to get promoted. The it's such a bummer thing. that the Mets because threw him out there. With the, right? whole, with the whole Trout thing about Trout's not doing. Trout's a good guy. It's baseball that nobody gives a crap about, and you need like guys like Tim Tebow, where everyone's like, "Wow!" Like when Dion played baseball. Yeah. You know, come on. But Dion was particularly really good at oh, it. Oh, of course. But still, the excitement of Tebow right. being in the majors. Right. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you see Noah Syndergaard is out? They put him on the DL. With he had a kid's disease. Hand, foot, and mouth. mouth which kids get. Yeah. Well, he said he got yeah. it at his camp. Yeah, dealing Over with kids. Over the All-Star break. Yeah. By the way, I used to get... Whenever I dealt with kids and there's a swimming pool, yeah. you know, counselor, show, whatever. Pink eye. You get the Pink old eye. conjunctivitis. I, I am so susceptible to conjunctivitis. <laughs> you may, if I look at a kid <laughs> with conjunctivitis, I've got conjunctivitis. <laughs> Being in traffic, I may have conjunctivitis right now. Looks like Carmelo Anthony is going to sign with the Rockets on the veterans minimum. Shock! And Dirk Nowitzki, one more year with the Mavs for five minutes. Oh, well, there's, a, there's somebody. By the way, Carmelo Anthony is who I saw. At, oh, in Malibu oh, on really? Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. I Wait, he's here. let's go to break. Tell that story. Oh, I don't know. There's no reason to tell that story. In the TV block, then? No, it's good yeah. to see you, Jeff. Garland. It's great to see you. Yeah. I don't have a funeral. It's out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> out of respect. Out of respect. That's right. I love Jeff. They carried my mother's groceries. groceries home. I know. Out I love you, Jeff Garland. I Jeff Garland, too, he's Eisen. made it down the 405. We are here. We got some start bench cuts for you since I know you like to play that when you've been oh, on the yeah, show. Oh, yeah, that game. We got right. that game for you here. All right, whatever you got, I'm here for. Okay. Welcome back to our show. What, uh, what happened? But what was that, that, that lull when they said we're back and then there was a pause? Well, the, TV, a the TV was back. The radio wasn't back yet. Oh, so the That's TV the, people knew yeah, that I was aware. The vagaries of the simulcast. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's a world you live in and I just visit, you so know I can't what? know. It, you know what? By it's, the way, it's I've not asked a tough world. too many times to host this show when you're gone. I've you, asked too many times. I will be gone August 8th. Eighth, are you around? I will be filming the Goldberg. Uh, no, I offered you all summer. But I I'm said, working now. I mean, should I take off so you could sit in here? No. Would you, okay. That you should not do. But we'll work we'll, it out. We'll someday. figure. Yeah, we'll we'll get our people together. Because you know what, I want the direct TV people to give me my own show. Not nothing to do what with would the, you. What would the Jeff Garland show look like? Do you want to know in sincerity? I in do. All sincerity, I do. I don't care what it looks like as long as it's a warm feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a really warm set. Thank you. But it would be me interviewing everyone from movie stars and sports stars to garbage men. Anyone who's interested in talking about life. Mm -hmm. And it'd be like an hour once a week. How would you find the garbage man that's interesting? Would you stand out in front no, of the no, street? No, no, no. But if I hear, like, oh, okay. my, uh, you know, the guy who fixes my uh, TV. Well, that's not it. Well, at the TV repair shop. Okay. Because is the, is the most interesting guy. Is this thing. I just want, I know I'm just saying someone tells me. Okay. I'd find out and I'd have my producers investigate. But the point being is real conversations with real people. But, and the real people could be people like you. Okay. But it's just, like, if I had, like, a Trump person on. 
Yes. I would not at any point discuss politics. I would discuss, did you watch cartoons growing up and see where that leads? Like I'd want a conversation <laughs> having nothing to do with the crap that everyone has shoved down sure. their throat. Who is the most, because I know you've done, you did your podcast. Or you, yeah. Do you still do it or no? You, no, no, okay. I don't do it. Uh, I'm still too do successful it. Still... for a podcast. <laughs> Yeah, you do stuff live do at the TV. Largo here I in Los Angeles. I do live. Who's at the Largo. most interesting person you've interviewed? Most Jeff. interesting person that you have interviewed. You know, I, I I was really taken aback and surprised by uh, Tig Notaro, the comedian. The comedian, in terms of just how crazy, great, and funny she was. Okay, because yeah. I've seen you interview Soderbergh. I've been, Soderbergh I was, there for was that. great, too. Where somebody By the way, everybody was pretty much great. It's right. Because it's, here's the thing. If you're looking to me to do an interview, yes. you're looking in the wrong place. If you're looking to me, like, what would it be like if you watch me have lunch with this person? Yes. That's more what it is. Without the food. With, unfortunately, without the But then food doesn't do I don't know. translate. You know, they would, uh, John. Jerry has coffee with people. Yeah, that's his business. <laughs> he drives I, around I don't want anything. Cars. You he don't drives want cars? Again. No, I don't want cars. Too okay. technical. Don't want coffee. How about sitting at a ball game with somebody? No, too much going on. I pay attention to the ball game. No, I don't want distractions. Just a warm, okay. nice room. Right. Two uh, people, man, woman, man, man, uh, man, uh, uh, whatever they want to call themselves. Sure. Whatever is there, mm -hmm. I just go for the humanity. You know, and we just because people don't do that. And I, you think I'm kidding? By the way, yes. I'm actually going to do this show. Well, whether you, it's here at Direct TV, well, we just pitched it. Yeah, we just pitched it. But uh, it will be on Unfortunately, ABC. I think, they're, I think they're all on a, uh, a retreat. I don't know if they're watching today. A, we'll care. send them. We'll I send them a clip. I don't. I don't care because we'll that's the thing about it. Whoever wants kidding. to do it and pay me appropriately, that's also <laughs> part of it too. I get paid appropriately. Now we just showed you Jeff Garl in the yeah. video of that guy that yeah. got roasted on Twitter yeah. or social media platforms for not giving a ball to a kid. Yeah, the, the apparently was judgment. given. Apparently, the, the the young man that's to the right of the woman who he gave the ball to is, I guess, his wife. That kid got the ball as soon as they were off uh, off camera. She got on a phone to take a picture of the ball before she handed it to another kid, and the yeah. kid in front who didn't get the ball apparently got a ball from the guy earlier. Uh, unbelievable! Right? Yeah, the guy's a good guy. It's just a rush to judgment of the internet, and we have to stop it now. Right but here. your show has no power that way. Well, <laughs> it doesn't. We're gonna we can, we're, but we're by gonna, the way, yes. it maybe starts with a person. Us. And that person is listening to your show or the watching two, your the show. Two of, from the friendly confines of So the confines were, in fact, friendly. They, they're always friendly. Since they won the World Series, especially. Although, last year, when they made it to the NL Championship, a lot of people were disappointed. I know. And I'm like, what world are you living in? Right. Do you remember anything pre-2016? Holy crap. You got a five-game lead in the loss column right now. Yeah, no, we're NL rocking. Central. We're rocking. And I say we're because I work with the players. I develop them. <laughs> I'm a minor league scout. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell him your idea for your birth? You know, it's his birthday. It's Chris Brockman's birthday. Yes, are you, are you aware of that? Kidding me? It is. What are you doing at like eight o'clock tonight, Jeff? Eight o'clock tonight. I'm doing nothing. You're at a party. Yeah, oh, you want to come? Is Rich going to be there? Uh, no, because he doesn't. No, I'm not coming. Well, he doesn't like the idea coming. for the party. Stop. Will your girlfriend be there? No, no, dude only. Okay, hold on, dude only party. No, I'm not. You know, that's just not fun. Wait a minute. Hold no, on. No, it a minute. is hold fun. On. It Wait. is fun. I'm not it going to fun. a strip club if that's the Chris, plan. Chris, you know, look, you said okay. you wanted to explain to Jeff Garland about what's happening tonight, not me, because okay. you didn't want me to stilt it, slant right. it, or what have you. All right. But you have already. You're you're well, two I'm, steps behind now. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Because okay. you have to understand, Rich Eisen's attendance always important to me. Thank Sarah you. Sarah Tiana's even more important to I'm me. I'm fine with That's that. That's his girlfriend. Uh, if, yes. For you listeners, oh, she's... look her up on the internet. A doll, a talented, lovely doll. Exactly. And he's so lucky. He's so above what he deserves. It's funny. Even though I love him, isn't that crazy? I think the world of him, mm -hmm. and yet he's below Sarah Tiana. <laughs> Jeff, you like fantasy sports, right? You like you like drafting, like the, the draft, idea. Of the, the draft in fantasy baseball is more fun than the than the season. Okay, without a doubt. And you also like eating and like being with your friends. Yes, we have combined those two things into one. We we please please elaborate. We do a hamburger draft. We go to a place called Twenty Six Beach in Venice, California. They have about thirty gourmet hamburgers on their menu. Yes. We have everyone in attendance, 
picks one burger. Yeah. Everyone does a different burger. We yeah. then have those burgers cut in half. Uh-huh. And then when they get delivered, we do a fantasy draft of all the different burgers. Yeah. And then we have a great party. We eat, we drink, we be merry. Uh, I'm I'm going without gluten now, so I'd have to just eat the meat. They have, they have, and I, I get nauseous when I eat too much meat. I'm not coming. But also, about, it's in Venice. I'm across town. What about the? By co- the way, happy birthday! <laughs> that, that, I don't want to like you. make you think I don't wish you a happy birthday. You. By if the way, you look Rich great. And or Sarah Tiana was there, I'd be there, and that tells you a lot about you. Would you like to come now, Rich? What's that? No. No, I, I here's Rich here's doesn't my, like this idea. Yeah. Rich, you know why I don't. Rich like and it? I are having dinner this week. This week, <laughs> we and are. Here's, and here's why. Here's here's. It's not because uh, of who you are. It's because of who you are inside. Why I want to have dinner with you. You understand? Well, that's right. Okay? No, but by the way, hold on a second. Hold on. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. My wife feels the same way that she says she feels about me and that you feel about me. Yeah. You're the Sarah Tiana in this situation. She loves you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. She loves Jeff Garland. Yeah. So it's a, it's a no-brainer we're going to dinner. Yes. But the reason why I'm going to dinner with you and not to what Chris Brockman has invited me to for his birthday <laughs> is when, is running. when you and I and Susie have dinner Friday night, yeah. we will get a menu. Yes. And we will, we will then select what we want to eat. Yes. Because let's be honest, we're all busy people. Right. We all have children. Wait We've all got things second. going on that when we leave the house for an hour and a half, two hours to make time for ourselves, I'm not leaving it up to chance that I don't want to eat something that I don't want to eat. Susie told me we were drafting our food. <laughs> So I'm a little bit confused. She definitely did not. <laughs> I am put it prep. No, Say that. Truly, happy birthday, but no thank, thank you. you. Jen. Okay. That's really the summarization. Happy, happy birthday. Now, is it a gluten thing? Is it why you're saying no? I, I don't eat wheat. I don't eat dairy. I do have goat yogurt, though. I don't do cow's milk. I don't do wheat. Since when? Uh, um, recently enough. But sugar, now I'm going on 10 months, no sugar. Damn. Yeah. Wow. And like this morning, I had some... Uh, Trader Joe's rice cereal, you know, and I ate it and I felt like crap. And then I looked and there was sugar. So, I mean, in it, it was not a sugary cereal. Sure. And I just thought, I don't even eat it subtly and, or it affects me. Boom. And the weight's mm. flying off and the muscles are growing. Boom. And the, uh, the excitement is building in America as I personally slow down the internet <laughs> with my newfound power. How much have you lost? I don't know. I Come don't weigh on. myself. You don't. My word, I do not weigh myself. I know I'm somewhere in the 240s. So then, so then- I was at my highest during uh, maybe daddy daycare days yes. or earlier in curb. I was as high, heavy as 320. No way. Yeah, and I'm, I'm 240s. Uh, what's, are you wearing the same belt? No, I, my stuff gets smaller. What I'm just saying. I just don't weigh myself. No, what yeah. I'm saying is like, can you n- say that you're now getting two more I notches? I don't wear the same belt. It would loop around twice. Okay. There you go. You look great, baby. You Thank do look you. great. You do Thank look great. Thank you. I feel great. All right. I want to take a break. We'll come back in you 60 seconds. You don't want seconds. to take a break. I do, I, you're correct. I don't. I but have you have to. to take a break yeah. in terms of promotion. Well, I'm trying to. It's a team. They, they, there is no I in, uh, well, there is an I in Fox Sports Radio, right? At the end, yeah. Well, we're all a team. We're, we're all a team. team. They need a 60-second break. I'm going to give it to them. Okay. Because I'm that type of guy. You are we'll come back, and yeah. then we've got some good start bench cuts for you. Where you got to go, start Daddy one, you got to bench one, you got to cut one. All right. And we haven't even discussed the Bears. We have not. We, and, we, and, we, and we've got some big news. I got big Bears news for me. Back in 60 seconds. Yeah. That's what we call a tease. All right. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Rich. Are you back on Twitter? No. You're I not? just want pretending to be me. It's at at the Jeff Garland. At the Jeff Garland. That is Garland. not you. That is not me. I'm Hold on, I'm looking at you. It looks like it doesn't say verified though, does it? There's no blue check mark. Nope. That's a very I am handsome only photograph on Instagram. of you. Uh, if I'm on Twitter, it's how long till I say something that annoys someone. And so uh, you've been off Twitter for a couple of years, right? Yes, I, I went off. Yeah. I had about 150,000 followers. I didn't even say a mass goodbye. I just was gone mm. because I knew As you're that so I think Twitter is bad for someone who's in the public eye. Uh, and there's someone proving that day by day. <laughs> uh, who is the young lady who does the countdown? Your set. Brittany. 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 Yes. She's lovely. Big bowl of lovely. Big bowl of lovely, Brittany. Good to see you, Brittany. Is Brittany, always you here. count down like no other person. Such a good countdowner. From... Well, I mean, what, what, I've been on every show. Like, what, do you, what, what do you like your count from? Ten, five? No, I, I'm a. You what? like a five count, a ten no, count? No, 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 no. I like 
any count that Britney does. <laughs> that's what I can say. All right. Jeff Garland here. And that's not me Jersey flirting. Show. That's me sincere. Well, you're... If Britney was Brent, I'd say the same thing. <laughs> Same same style of countdown. I'm being the same way. Okay. All right. She is lovely, but that's a bonus. So is the uh, the I, I guess hypothetical Brent. Brent is a doll. Brent Musburger, by the way. I know. With the hold on. Oh, I just you my great coffee. grandmas. Yeah, I know. Uh, Musburger doing the the uh, Raiders. Do you know when I first heard Brent Musburger? No. Locally in Chicago. Yeah, that's right, right? Locally in Chicago as a kid. I remember it vividly. Then suddenly he was on CBS. Yeah, he's a Chicago and, guy. And then uh, they had the slow motion, nobody does it better with film of Walter Payton. And to this day, nobody does it better. So what's your Bears news? My Bears news is this. For the 2020 season, a 2019 season. Next year? I will be yes. a season ticket holder. Hey! I will be going hey. to the games, sitting on the 50-yard line. Uh, the gentleman who has the seats is, is doing this year, mm -hmm. and I'm paying him my seat licensing fee, and I'm taking over tickets that were in a, another family for generations, and I'm in, and I'm going to be going to the Bear game, sitting with the people. So what caused you to, to do this? Because I know my love of the Bears. I know you. you hey, hold on. A I second. hold on. I, you, I know your love of the Bears. Yes. I've seen it. Yes. I understand it. Yes. But you were kind of turned I, off by the Bears. Very much so. But currently turned on. What What and do you see? I say see? that what in do a Britney see? sort of way. <laughs> what that I'm in, that I'm what enthusiastic, but it's not sexual. You know the Bears and I Brittany. understand that, but what it, is yeah, it? It's Trubisky? Brent. Is it the coach? What is what has caused it's you to? It's the coach. It's Trubisky. It's the other coaches. It's the attitude around Hallis Hall. I am pro Chicago Bear. I've always been. It hurts so bad when they're bad. I don't expect great things this year. I expect improvement, and I know there will be. Yes. But starting next year, when I'm sitting there, oh, we'll see some great things. Oh, we will see. <laughs> Some great things. So you're locked in for 2019. I am locked in for 2019. All eight home there. games? All eight home? No, when it gets too cold, I ain't going. I'll sell them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come watch it on uh, the DirecTV but, package. But what if there's like a big Bears-Packers game mid-December? You're going. I don't care if it's below zero. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm staying home. But the point being, it's like the Cubs in, in the World Series against the Indians. Yeah. I didn't go to Cleveland. But you, you did go I went go to all three to Wrigley. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to Cleveland. Even for a World Series. Right. I'm not going. Just like that, I'm not going below zero. Well, I think that kind of leads us in a way to some start bench cuts. You Let's go to start bench cuts. It's time. Start. Start now. Bench. Just sit down and be quiet. Or cut. Get up. All right. Okay, here we Garland. go. I love this. Here we go. I know go you do. Bears. That's what you got to get you Even some. though they don't have a prayer. Okay. First one for Jeff Garland. You have the um, – okay. First one. You have to start one. You have to bench and you cut one. Okay. Uh, best Chicago food. Deep dish pizza. Chicago style hot dog. Italian beef. Start bench cut. Start pizza, uh, uh, bench, hot dog, cut Italian beef. Gone. Yeah. Ooh, what's the... Well, one of them's got to be cut. I know that. So, But I'm not a big Italian beef guy, surprisingly, a Chicago guy. Go. I love my Lou Malnati's, and I, I love That's my Vienna hot dog. That's your Chicago My Chicago is Lou Malnati's pizza? with the butter crust. And then and I will make a gluten exception for that. <laughs> Oh, that sounds yes. so good right And now. when I get a great Vienna hot dog that's done right, I'll also make my gluten exception. By the way, is in gluten exception, was that an Allman Brothers song? That was an Allman Brothers song. Uh, yes, that gluten was. Exception? That was great, on the Gluten Exception um, tour. So that was on the Good Clean Fun album. Okay. Hey, uh, no, but I also want to add yes. that the only exception I don't make is sugar. Like I'll have gluten every once in a while, something else, dairy in it, but I do not. Veer away, veer away from not having sugar. So okay. I guess then this one will be interesting. Best condiment on a hot dog, ketchup, mustard, relish. Start bench cut, Jeff Garland. Okay, hot dog, mm -hmm. mustard, bench relish, cut ketchup. Come on Ketchup now. does not belong Boom. in a hot dog. Thank you, Jeff. If you're from America. I am from, <laughs> I said I'm America. <laughs> I am from America, United but States. I... I you put all ketchup I, on your hot dog? All, all then the you're a little boy at heart, aren't you? I am. Because little boys put ketchup on their hot dog. I am, yeah. But you've never become a man. I know that about <laughs> you. I was bar mitzvahed a long time ago, yes, sir. Yes, okay. But uh, clearly not when it comes to hot this dog. sort of stuff. Yeah, okay, that's a uh, good start. Bench next guy. one, best movie based in Chicago. Yeah. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The Untouchables, Blues Brothers, start bench oh, cut. Oh, why are you doing this to start me? Start bench cut, Jeff I Garland. start the Blues Brothers. I bench Ferris Bueller and I cut the untouchable. Oh, 
Wow. Yeah. We were going to include The Fugitive in this. Is that a Chicago that movie? That would have been not even... A, a, it is in Chicago, and and all good and fine. By the way, you didn't include one of my favorites, I Want Someone is, to Eat Cheese With. Oh, of course. Yes. You and the lovely Sarah Silverman yes, starring in yes. that film. Yes. Based so, in Chicago. Yes. So you went started Blues that. Brothers, right? Blues Brothers. But not. I'm on a mission from God! I know. I am. I'm on a mission from a higher power. I don't know what it is. Next next one. I am, you think. Uh... <laughs> Jeff Garland, athlete you most want back in professional sports. Okay. Johnny Manziel, Tim Tebow, Ronda Rousey. Start bench cut. <laughs> All right. I start Tim Tebow. I bench Ronda Rousey. Ronda, however I say her name. Ronda Rousey, yeah. Ronda Rousey. Who, really, I don't follow her. I know who she is. Yes. And I don't really care much. And then, you know, uh, Johnny Menzel, uh, I wish him well, but leave me alone. But you're cutting him. Yeah. Why do you start Tebow? You want- because he'd be great for baseball. I don't want him starting in football. I want him starting in the Mets outfield because I want baseball. It'd be great for baseball. I agree baseball with you. Baseball doesn't have enough I, I, of people like Tim Tebow. They don't have anybody like Tim I Tebow. I know. And it's not it's not Mike Trout's fault. He's just a great baseball player. But it, And that's great for people who are already baseball fans. If you're not a baseball fan, you don't give a crap about Mike Trout. Now, you know, Dan Patrick doesn't hot take at all, but he said that uh, Tebow is the most famous player in baseball right now. Without a doubt, most famous player think, in baseball. Oh. Nobody can touch him. Nobody. I mean, I dis- who's, I who's more famous than Tim you Tebow disagree? in baseball? Well, who, Mookie Betts? No, no, Aaron Judge. Aaron, <laughs> by the way, the Aaron way you Judge, said that name Aaron is Judge, no, Aaron origin. Judge is pretty famous. No, I love Mookie Betts, by the way. I love him. I love the Red Sox. But holy crap, no. Aaron, Aaron Judge hey. is pretty famous. No, he's not. Not Tebow. Famous. Not out of New York. Tebow no, 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 like, no, no, no. Tim way- Tebow is by far the most popular player in baseball. But how many people know that he plays baseball? Everyone who casually watches any sports center. That's, but I think the I, casual sports fan knows that he's playing baseball. The casual sports fan says, Who's Aaron Judge? And also, mm. I mean, wouldn't you? Wouldn't, yeah. I don't know. I, I, even if he's but the I most do. famous football player. That's why player. I'm so sure, and you're not confident. <laughs> because I, I am sure. You are not sure, sir, and I am sure. Yeah, on your birthday of all days, <laughs> okay. you should be sure, and you're not sure. Last one for you, Jeff Garland. Okay. Uh, the Curb character most likely to talk during Tiger's backswing, Larry, Leon, or Susie? Okay. <laughs> Leon, then Susie, then Larry. Because what? Because Larry know, Larry respects golf. He yeah, knows the yeah, rules but, of golf. But, but Larry would, would say it. For the wrong reason, like that would be the humor in it. Like, right. He doesn't mean to, but he does. Susie is, I don't give a crap. And JV, I mean, Leon, Leon. <laughs> Leon's just doing it. It's not even a matter of not caring. He at all times is going to say and do something. So the, yeah. uh, but did the show get, the show got nominated, right? For Yes, we're okay. nominated for an Emmy. God yes. And, and Larry was Larry nominated too. for best uh, actor. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, good luck to us. Yeah, good luck. Exactly. I, well, I want to take a break, come back, talk a little bit about that and, and uh, other things, Jeff. Whatever you want, I'm happy to be here. Show. And we got another countdown. It's very exciting. Yes, when we come back, Brittany will count down Jeff Garland back yeah. into the final segment yeah. of the show. Yeah. <laughs> do we need? Do we need? Do we need, we need a refresher? You need a? No, I'm all okay. good. Very good. No gluten. The gluten-free, sugar-free. Dairy uh, Jeff Gar- Dairy free Jeff Garden. Yep. Garland here on the Rich Eisen Show. All right, we got the count Who's in. Playing? What music is playing? I don't hear that. That's just uh, that's just our uh, what, what, what'd, you say, what'd you call it? Was that a, is that the riff? That's that just like bump music. Sort of bump music rock. for uh, radio. So radio has a little bit of, like uh, we're like a little bit delayed. Okay. okay. Television's always back. Uh, the, uh, f- the final poll results brought to you by Callaway Odyssey XO. Odds are you've played an Odyssey putter before, but I no have one like and this. I have one. You do I play Callaways. The new XO putter from just... Odyssey combines multi-material construction with a white hot micro hinge insert for incredible feel roll and forgiveness pre-order it today at odysseygolf.com by the way i apologize to golf i'm learning how to golf i take golf lessons i have them tomorrow morning okay great and uh because i fake play golf on curb but now i'm actually learning and i got some callaway golf clubs okay which they didn't give me for free but at a huge discount (laughs) (laughs) and they gave me lots of hats and balls and but i love my callaway clubs i love them i gave ld i gave larry when he was here Mm -hmm. a box of rich eyes and show logo golf balls you have more i'm more than happy to hand them to you please well but i have to give you full disclosure here they're not good they're great they're chrome soft (laughs) balls oh okay he then i got a 
uh, a text of complaint From that him? they were distracting. Oh, your seeing face? my logo no, I, and I my name it. on the ball the as he's way, standing over what if it, I told it you, took him out of his rhythm. What if until, I told you it'll do the opposite for me? It will calm me. Okay. It will relax me. <laughs> it will let me know the world is a good place. So I should be playing golf. Rich, I can't wait for those balls. <laughs> Have you ever seen Larry Putt? Can we show the video of Larry putting on the Callaway corner to uh, to Jeff Garland, please? He gets down oh, all the there. way down oh, at, oh, at he, the he puzzle. He does not do that. Is he that says legal? he does this for real. Is that legal? He says that's how he puts. He puts his hand Is all that the way. Legal? Just... He's an idiot. You know what? <laughs> I, I love that man so deeply. He is one of my best friends in the world, yeah. but that is ridiculous. He says he does that for real. And do you know he does that on the set? He, like, practices on the set? No, I don't know that. Oh, it's what wrong. Mean? But he, he's just like... Just standing around, he starts doing the swing. I'm like, enough. In between takes? Oh, mean? in between takes, during takes. He don't care. When are you back doing this? We start October 19th. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, do you yeah. know what? Do you have anything yet? Do you know anything yet? I know everything. You do? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the great... Uh, what if I told you, as far as I'm concerned... This season might be my favorite storyline of all time. Oh, wow. wow. And you know what? It's not big like last year's uh, fatwa, like a big thing. Right. It's or, a sweet, subtle thing. It's beautiful. Or like the it's Seinfeld like, reunion and stuff like that. I mean, I, I like it better than too. that. It's more about the when you're in this situation and you see something and your imagination goes, oh man, if I only I could do that. And Larry David can do that. I don't want to say any more. It's a big bowl of right. I love it. Wow. I'm so excited about it. So you've seen you've seen the, the, the plot lines because again, all it's the just... plot, I've read all the scripts. I've read them all. It's great. I'm so happy. I can't wait. And I think if you're a real curb fan, like yes. a hardcore curb fan, mm -hmm. this might be one of your this will be one of your favorite seasons of all time. Well, is it is it the last one, do you think? Well, <laughs> might yeah. be for me. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. I've got things to do. I've been on this show a long time. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> Wait. What's the final poll results? we got to wow. pay it off for our friends at Callaway. Uh, By the way, I, I, I love the show. It's an honor doing the show. Of course. But I'm not under contract after this season. Oh, see. I got you. Okay. All right. So we'll see. No, let's – no, we'll – Look, let the merger we'll happen. Then everyone will sit yeah, down. The merger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. HBO will get you right. We'll get yeah. it right. We'll That's get, all we'll good. Get Did you watch uh, Tiger over the weekend, Jeff? Watch him. I caddied for him. There you go. <laughs> How many more fun. majors is Tiger going to win the rest of his career? One, zero, two plus. Oh. What do you think? I think it's Tiger Woods. Yes. Could be a two plus. What's the point? Two plus, 30%. Uh, one leads the way, 42%. 28% zero. zero. Well, I think the zero is probably the greatest odds. I think so. But, but... It's Tiger Woods. I know, right? You could see him getting a groove at like 40 where you go, where did this come from? Because it's Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods. I know. And also, he's, just, he's 41 you know, years old, so that would, be, that? that would be tough. All right, well, 44. I'm just saying in general, <laughs> it could come out of nowhere, and it's Tiger Woods. He's Tiger Woods. He was you know? close. He was I close. mean, that, he's mentioned in the same breath with two other golfers. Three. Yeah. Four. Right. There's four other golfers. <laughs> Bob, Bobby Jones. Yes. Uh, uh, Hogan. Yeah. Uh, uh, N Nicholas and uh, Arnie. Arnie Palmer. Yeah. So those are, that's the five. Okay. I, I didn't want to be, a, and, I didn't have the older two, sure. like right no. away, Hogan and Bobby Jones, but come on, man. And then after we give you a box of the Chrome Soft, I'll mention Jeff Garland. No, you will never be mentioning Jeff Garland. <laughs> Thanks for coming on today. Oh, that's me. it? Well, they're playing the theme music, so we are done. Oh, I hate it. We'll do it. an eyes and overtime with you. Mary, Car Mary Kay Cabot and Rich Lerner. Tomorrow's show, David Spade will be here. Oh. And Don Mattingly will be on the show. All right. In person? No, he's oh. calling in. It's the 35th anniversary of the Pine Tar game that he played in. Oh, great grandma's balls. We'll see you on <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.